right on with G. So from the last repulse monkey, hold the ball, step out, and pan. Turn the waist, rotate the forearms, and drop the hands, extend the arms to shoulder level. From here, simply bend your right elbow and let it come in by your ear toward your left forearm. So from here, you just bend the elbow. And since your arms are in a relaxed and comfortable position, the hand will just naturally come in to cross with the forearm. If you went too far, you will bend your elbow and the hand will be back over here by your right shoulder. So, roll back, twist to the waist, bend the elbow, let it come into the forearm, and then shift forward and chi. Here, the left arm is in the same position as pan, and the right hand the palm is just lightly touching the wrist with the palm on the wrist. So not like this, but like so. G, like so. Let's see that whole sequence from the other side. So from the last repulsive monkey, follow me. Draw up the hands, turn the waist, holding the ball, the right hand on top, draw in the toe, slowly step out, Place the heel, then the toe, and then pan. Turn the waist, turn the hands, and rolling back. Nice and relaxed. The hand comes in by the ear to the forearm, and squeezing forward. Again, draw up the hands, hold the ball, right hand on top. Step slowly, place the heel, then the toe, and pan. Twist the waist, turn the hands, and Roll back. The right hand comes by the ear and G. When you finish G, the hips are square with the weighted leg and you line up in the same direction as Pan. From here, the next movement is called An. Extend the hands, shift back. Raise the left toe, drop the hands to Dantian. Then drop the toe and let the hands come up and go forward. Fingertips at eye level. So from G, extend the fingers, palms down. Then shift back, let the hands drop to the Dantian as you raise your left toe. Then drop the toe and shift forward. And An is the uh, energy called push or press. And the Chinese character for An it has the three parts. One is the character for hand. The next is the character for a lid. And next is the character for a woman. So you think hand, lid, woman. And you'll get in trouble if you start thinking that it's uh, the hand that keeps a lid on woman. Don't go there. That's not what it means. Uh, Chinese doesn't always read from left to right. What it is, is the feminine hand that keeps a lid on things. So when you do an, the hands settle down and then go back again. It's as if saying, okay, that's fine, thanks for sharing, now you go over there and play. And that's essentially what you're doing to, a, to an opponent when you're using this in uh, push hands or martial applications. So let's see that again. From here, from here, drop the hands, turn the waist, hold the ball with the right hand on top, then step out, place the heel, then the toe, and pan, warding off left. Then turn the waist, rotate the forearms, and rolling back. The right hand comes by the ear, and ji. Now extend the hands, now shift back. Drop the hands to the Dantian as you raise the toe, and then shift forward like so. Fingertips eye level, shoulders sinking, elbows dropping. There's a tendency a lot of people have when they do this to draw the hands back and then come up underneath. Because the movement reminds you of rowing, and a lot of people will make a reference to rowing when they're teaching, and then that gets people thinking that it's, it's literally like rowing. Only the first part is like rowing. Bring the hands back and down, and then let the hands come back up 
and forward. Think of it like extending the hands, catching a basketball, bouncing it, and then passing it back again. The energy for an is forward and down, or down and forward. It's like pushing a button. So you do an, like so. There we go. Pan, Lü, Ji, and An. Let's see it once more from the other side. Drop the hands, hold the ball, slowly step out, place the heel, then the toe, then Pan. Turn the waist, twist the forearms, and Lü, rolling back. Extend the 